what are in general the challenges of Microsoft Teams in combination uh, with projects? There are a couple. And uh, first of all, usually there are too many project teams because everybody is opening a team. Everybody wants to like quickly work and communicate without checking is there maybe already a collaboration space people can work in uh, or has there been a project earlier to this maybe that say um, serves the same purpose. Uh, the manual effort is usually quite high because if you want to have a project in teams, the problem is you always need to build it up again. The, one of the biggest requirements in general is to have a template for a new project, because usually you work in one project very similar to the to another project when it comes to how to store data or how to work in a planner or OneNote or even in general, how does my project team look like and who is actually part of this project team errors when it comes to whatever um, overlaying names or the um, the problem of having a unstructured team or uh, an already existing team and you create a new one there are a lot of them um, and they again produce manual tasks for a project manager for somebody who takes care of these projects in m365 and another thing is that there are no life cycles in a regular life cycle tool, you would probably have a project start, you would have a project end. In the best case, you would see the status of the actual product, uh, project. This is something working in teams can be quite tricky and you have to know what to do and with um, the, and the right tool um, with which you can actually manage that problem. Chaos with no, chaos with no structure is probably uh, yeah, the conclusion of all of that, uh, of these things I've just talked about, because too many teams, no life cycles, maybe also no additional metadata or um, to say what these projects are actually for and you can manage them and search for them and have a better overview. That's also a huge challenge. Last thing is lack of protection. And this is especially for uh, companies that work with sensitive client data, sensitive information. That's very, very important. And I will give you an idea of how you can handle that, how you can handle it with a tool. We will take a look at Teams Manager today, which is a tool for project management and governance. We will take a look at OneNote today, so the project uh, features or project tools you can use that are already coming with uh, your M365 solution and how we standardize those. So as I said, the most common thing when doing teams, when doing projects in teams is, and who knows this little logo, it's Planner, and there's OneNote, there's To Do, which is basically the personalized ver version of Planner, and there is SharePoint. These are the general assets, the general applications we use in Microsoft M365 project management um, and project management inside of Teams. Coming to rules and policies, and this is something we will take a look at also today, uh, probably the most interesting things in the Teams Manager, the tool we are taking a look at is how we create policies, how do we manage that, and how can it look like in the end? So what makes you as a project manager happy? What, make, what makes you as an administrator happy when your department says, hey, I definitely need project templates. What are the things to take a look at? What are your opportunities and how you, um, how you can actually do this? What are we seeing here? That's Teams Manager. Teams Manager is an add-on for Teams. What do I mean by that? You can go to the App Store. You can say, I want to have a application added. And you find Teams Manager, open it and go for it. It always has a free trial, so you, you don't need to purchase something. You can try it out if you do um, have projects, they need to be managed. Um, and or you want to just test the application. So why do I think Teams Manager could be a good idea for you to manage projects, to do projects in Microsoft Teams and even um, projects in Microsoft Teams if your requirements are quite high, if your requirements are about structure, documents, 
uh, OneNote, planners and SharePoint, uh, you probably want to have a so-called provisioning app. A provisioning app basically means uh, that you can say, I want to have a new team and this team is a project team. And now the project team should consist out of everything I predefined for my general projects in my company or just projects that are specific for one department type. And this is what we are going to do now. What we see here is a projects manager's overview. What is the general advantage? We will do a um, quick comparison. So having Microsoft Teams in general means you have this little freaky bar on the left and you see a couple of teams. You don't know what they're about. You don't know who is in there. Uh, you don't see what they are supposed to do uh, and so on. So that's your general Teams overview. Well, for a project manager, information is key. So we need a dashboard to see all of our projects. So what we see here is Teams Manager's dashboards, dashboard of my projects, of my teams. And I see here I have quite a couple of projects running. A couple of them are my favorite projects. They're marked with a little star. I could also filter on them. However, I think a common sense, a filter is possible. Um, what else can you do? You can also have owners and members in here. So this means not checking for everything in the background of a team. Or uh, uh, who is responsible for this project? Actually, no. I can just click on it and I see who are the project managers. And if I'm um, a project manager myself and I want to, let's say, Alex as a project manager also in this team, I just add him. Same is with members. It's just as easy as the owners. So you just put another in here. Speaking about guests, and that's something that's the third thing you usually have in projects is um, what do you do with those kind of guests? So um, are there projects where guests allowed and are there projects where guests are not allowed and who is taking care of that? Teams Manager, so the application we are looking at right now can take care of this. So you determine if a project is something you want to work with people from the outside or it's just an internal thing where guests are not allowed because data is sensitive and you want people not to access this team if they are actually not part of your company. This is probably the future way of project management in combination with good communication. This is what we um, suggest, especially when you're not willing to invest in a huge project management platform, go and use Teams. You already probably are paying money for it. Teams Manager, which is an affordable addition to this, uh, can be downloaded directly from the store. So again, just go in here, type in Teams Manager, and you're good to go.